Good morning. Um, it is a training day, so we are going to make breakfast. Brought to you by Chef Boy RD. Magnus would like to say hello. This meal is one that I told Taylor I just want to keep eating every day, so he built it into my new meal plan. Um, I've been eating this for like a year and a half, probably. So I buy the Kodiak cake, uh, or sorry, the Kodiak brand oatmeal packets. I like the strawberries and cream flavor, and I like the blueberry one. I'll like half cook, I'll add water, half cook them, so they're still kind of watery, and then I add 100 grams of frozen raspberries on top, and then microwave for another minute. So now it's like not as watery, and... And then the bro, the holy fuck, the berries are still kind of like they're not frozen, but <laughs> are still kind of like they're not frozen, but they're still kind of cold. And then you like mix them in there, it's really good. Buy these prepackaged yogurts from Costco. There's a cat here, so 200 grams of 3% Greek yogurt. So, yeah, this is. Meal number one, breakfast. So I have a slight problem and lots of mornings I like to just crack a cold monster. <laughs> I like to try and drink more water. So we are on to meal two. One thing that Taylor encourages me to do is meal timing around my training. So breakfast is just upon waking, as you saw previously. Meal two is four to five hours before training. My pre-workout is an hour to two hours before training. This meal consists of chicken thighs, basmati rice, honey, soy sauce, and then the star of the show, vegetables. I'll post a picture of each meal with the macro breakdown, and then I'll do like a full day tally of my macros at the end. Um, but this meal was 125 grams of chicken thigh, 250 grams of rice, whatever your little heart desires of broccoli. And then I put soy sauce on my rice and I put 20 grams of honey on the chicken. Okay, meal number three, your pre-workout. So this is one to two hours before your training session. So for me, this consists of a protein shake and cereal. So I've manipulated it a little bit from what Taylor gave me in my plan, but it works out to be the same macros. So it's a protein shake and a cereal. So for my protein shake, I use first form protein. This is the only protein that I can actually just drink and it's not completely disgusting to me. Uh, so for today, I'm doing the chocolate mint cookie, so I do 35 grams of that. And from first form, also, I use ignition, which is like a carb blend, like a carb powder. So I use half a scoop of that, so like 25 grams. And then I add creatine into my shake. And then for my cereal, I do 40 grams of Frosted Flakes with a cup of natural milk. That's 18 grams of protein. And then I cut up a wee little banana on top. Bananas are very controversial to me. They're like avocados. They're only good for like one day. Um, first off, I open my bananas this way. I feel like that's the correct way. They have to be just yellow from that green stage. Anything else is like repulsive. Just got back from the gym. I trained with my friends Dean and Rachel. We did a really fun leg butt stuff workout. So I have two gym memberships. The yellow gym that I post on Instagram, that's metal. That's where I do most of my training. If I'm in prep, that's the only gym that I go to because that's where all the strongman equipment is. But I also have a membership at SK Belt, which is more of a like a bodybuilding bro gym. There's lots of like flexing in the mirror picture taking type atmosphere but it's a nice gym they've got lots of cool machines to try out almost like an obnoxious amount of machines it's overwhelming it's weird i've been going to the gym for 
over a decade now. I joined my first women's gym in 2013 when I moved to the city. I really only feel comfortable in strength gyms now. I get, I totally get why people get nervous going to the gym. Um, I get social anxiety when I go to bro gyms like that. The machines are really overwhelming and I just feel like I don't fit in at gyms like that. So anyway, I will be taking you through meal four, post-workout meal. So this meal consists of extra lean ground beef, rice, honey, an egg, and mixed veggies. I don't know if this is disgusting or not. I mix the egg in my rice and then I microwave it. Coming out of my mouth, I feel like that's disgusting, but it's good. But I'm going to cook it differently just for you guys. I'm gonna cook it in a pan with the rice I think that's how you make fried rice. Also exposing myself more, how I said in part one that I don't cook. I've been living in this house since July and I have not used my oven once. And I've used the stove top probably three or four times. I already fucked up and turned on the wrong burner. So turn on the correct one, waiting for the pan to warm up a little bit. I'm gonna start by putting the egg in first. Um, I don't know if I can do this with, oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> Stir that around a little bit and then I'm just gonna dump my rice on top and kind of brown it up, I guess. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. So I weighed out my rice, so I'm just gonna plop this on top. I feel like I should have put the rice in sooner before the egg was cooked. I don't think I really accomplished anything other than just mixing rice in a scrambled egg. I think at this point I'm just gonna combine everything. So I'm just gonna dump my beef in there and I'm gonna dump the soy sauce and honey in there and just mix it all together. realized none of the honey came out. Honestly, it doesn't taste that bad. I'm supposed to have mixed veggies, or in my case, broccoli with this meal, but I'm just going to skip those tonight. I probably would eat this again. I would just put the rice in sooner before the egg is like cooked, but it's, it's not bad. And I like to pair this meal with a Coke Zero. And I should probably drink more water again. Meal five, the final meal of the day is just a light bedtime snack. So it is Greek yogurt, 2%, berries. I top it off with chia seeds uh, as per Taylor's program. Prior to this video, I wasn't sure what the benefits of chia seeds were. It turns out that they're really high in fiber. So it's great for intestinal health. So I go with frozen berries, as you noticed, for breakfast. And then this snack, grocery prices are out of control. So this is the cheapest option. They're not as good as like fresh fruit, but it is what it is. So because they're frozen, I will zap them in the microwave for about 30 seconds to start with. And then I put my yogurt on top and then my chia seeds on top. And then I mix it all together. So that's what it looks like all mixed up. But next time I think I might put it in the blender and then it'll be kind of like frozen yogurt. I would recommend eating more vegetables than I eat, but the fact that one of my meals today had vegetables is a huge win in itself because prior to this meal plan from Taylor, after I got back from the Arnold, I was not eating any veggies at all. Normally I do two meals with veggies, but doing this video and cooking that meal was a lot and I just didn't feel like broccoli again, so. So 
So eat more vegetables than me. Eat your protein. Don't be afraid of carbs. Uh, drink more water than I do. I think that concludes this video. I hope you guys found it interesting or useful, maybe. If you guys have other videos you want to see, just let me know. I don't have an outro yet, so subscribe and like my videos. Anyway, thanks for watching.